hello friends, how's it going? It's your friend Jeff playing the Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail American Campaign Normal Difficulty so we can go up and down in sea battles difficulty. So let's go and see. Take her back. Four thousand. So, head on attack, you know, that's going down one, and follow orders is taking the current 4,000, so no peril, no glory, only 801 reps. I mean, it's not, it's not really a lot, but, you know, whatever, we're going to do it. That's why I played normal, so I can do this, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. You can put one or three ships into here. Um, you know, like I don't know who would want to play with just one ship. But <laughs> anyways, now F Fenwick is the 26-gun ship. She can only have up to 173 because she has a repair kit on her. And these guys, v uh, Vieira and Garlic, um, Briggs, so those are going in at full full crew of 170. And I think they all have repair kits. This might be, I don't know. Uh, we're going to skip all this. I always like to do that. Playing this game long enough to where, you know, there's no point to it. All right, so it looks like we got, oh, we got old true love here. Destroy or capture true love. Well, that would be a mistake to destroy it. Um, that would be kind of silly. Destroy and that and, and that's all there is to it. Now I don't know. If, I can't remember. I didn't look at my notes on this like normally I do, and then I, I know exactly what's going to go on. But anyways, we probably want to take out the. Let's tell the ships to get moving. Let's see. Southwest is the wind, and so they're so they're actually almost going against the wind. So, yeah, so they might not get pretty far anyways. And I'm sure he's going to turn in on us anyway. So let's go ahead. I like to... Matter of fact, I just don't like that. I never do. All right, let's go ahead and get it going. We can go a little bit fast. I mean, we'll have to see if any reinforcements come. Or this might be just as simple as this. we got to see. And then on the under hard, maybe they would have two ships here. I'm not certain. I guess I could watch my old videos to see or look at my notes. But anyways, we're playing under normal. Hey, we, we even took one shot right there. Look at that. Okay, well, let's go back probably to regular speed. And the question would be, well, you know what I mean? I could sit here and, you know, uh, broadside, but I'm thinking, you know, like the secret to this game is to capture as many ships as possible. And taking out the warship would be the first. Now, if we see more red on here, then we know more are coming. But, and if he gets lucky and takes out a mass, I mean, that's, that's what happens when we approach. So yeah, he's going to try to outmaneuver us in some way. Now, any one of these ships should be able to take him. So whoever's going to get him... Let's see if Vera can. And, and, and Garlic might come over here to block. And Fenwick can get over here. And I'm not even directing where these shots are going. Alright, so it looks like Vera's not going to do it. So it's up to Garlic to come over here and take this one out. Or I could possibly come this way. Let's see. Alright, I'm going to pause for just a minute because I want these guys to go to Canister. And they might as well start repairing, seeing that we... He didn't take any damage. How about this one? Yeah, so two, two out of three didn't take any damage yet. So, all right, so I pause for just a moment, and I think even on this one, I want to have that. As a matter of fact, we're just going to go over here to put a block on. Oh, true love, because 
We don't want to take old true love until we get this one. So cut in. All right, now this one has to repair. Okay, let me let me go back to sl really slow speed so we can line this up just perfectly. Okay, well, we, we ain't going to need Vieira, so let's take Vieira off. I mean, she's here, like the muskets might be shooting at them. So yeah, let me just, let me just anchor her. That way, this ship is surrounded. I mean, he's still, fi they're, they're still firing at us though, but. But she ain't gonna go. Uh, Unity is not gonna go anywhere. So, Garlic will take take this one out. I mean, I could have I could have lined this up right and had both do this, and it would have went a lot faster, and I probably wouldn't have lost as many guys. But at the same token, all right, now you just an anchor. Like we're not worried about true love at the very moment. We just want to knock this one out and. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to say I probably, yep, yep, here comes more ships. Okay, so I probably should have had both board because, you know, sh this ship had 170. So you can see how many we've lost already. So I, so technically it would have been better. But, you know, we're just watching this. Um uh, yeah, so we lost 65 guys so far, which kind of sucks. Ah, but we didn't lose an officer, so that's good. All right, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna have this ship go there. This one get over there, and this one can stay right here. Now this ship here is repairing. This ship here is repairing. We're going to go back to round ball. Go back to round ball. And then this one, you can see, you can see even the enemy was on canister when we got close. So we'll put that one on round ball. Just anchor. Okay. Oh yeah, see. Okay, well wait a minute. I want to... Let's see, how do I want to do this? Because the enemy ship is coming, but... Alright, I was going to make a blockade here, but I'm going to have to switch it up. Oh yeah, the look at the wind. Alright, I should have made a direct route to this one. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can. Alright, I'm going to still consider the, I'm taking, like I said, I don't have the guns on this one because I don't want it to be hurting the ship. Oh, okay. I, I realized that I had it at real sh uh, one f half speed, so I mean, I was wondering why I wasn't really, ship wasn't turning around correctly. Alright, we're going to try to get this one right now. It might not work. Like, I probably... Oh, don't tell me my rigging. Yeah, I screwed up my rigging. Yeah, I screwed up my rigging. Look at this. That's going to cost me about 500 or 900 bucks. All 
I forgot that that um, old true love is a bigger ship than what we have. Now we're trying to pull in right now. Maybe I could show you the angle. Uh, and she already, she just gave up. Yeah, you can see how we broke our nose. I mean, not good. Oh, it says I can finish. Now that we have it. Okay, hold on. All right, let's see what, let's pause for a minute and see what the, where is the ship? Oh, okay, it's the Milford, that's right, okay. Hmm. Let's see now. I guess because we have repair kits, we could try to tangle with him. I mean, even if I get him, I don't even know if I'll have enough rep to, to add him to my fleet. And then with scaling, everything's going to scale up because I play with scaling. And that necessarily might not be a good thing at this very point point in the campaign because I am like really early in so as far as true love goes we're gonna tell true love to get going and I'm disappointed that I broke uh, my lady's uh, nose off I'm really upset about that but what can I do and we're going to go back to Longbow. And so now True Love is going to get going. Matter of fact, we can tell her to just go like that now that my ship is out of the way. But yeah, look at that. That's going to be expensive. And it's going to be a lot more expensive. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and save right here. Because... Normal, uh, save one. Okay. And the reason I'm saving is we can, um, decide not to fight that. We can finish. We already got the, we already got this ship. And we know, you know, we're going to face, uh, whatever that ship is. Like, I haven't seen it yet, but, I mean, I've seen the ship, but. So I'm going to see if I can make a blockade. Now we do have 126 and we do have 170 and we got 60. Oh, and we even got the 40. Hey, you know what? Let's stop that for a minute. Yeah, I think what my plan is going to be, I'm going to have to repair. I think I'm going to take this 44 and I'm going to put it onto the true love. And I'm going to take the 47 out. I mean, I know it's only three guys, but you know what I mean. I mean, I got to get this ship moving because I don't want her to get hurt. Okay, so O True Love is a fifth rate Diana class. It's a fifth rate ship. So yeah, I might want to add that to my fleet. All right, so now let me let me figure something out here. So for f how I want to do this, while that ship, that enemy ship is is coming upon us, let me take my guy out. Now you were supposed to anchor. You were supposed to anchor. Dang it.
All right, now, like I said, I hope he's closing in on us, but I got to hurry up and get this transfer done. I'm only putting um, me, my Admiral on here so I can take this unit off and get this one to here, then get this unit to here, get that ship moving. Okay, so now Unity... I can take out the 44. And I'm going to I'm just going to keep it at normal. I know this is not fun for you to watch, but this way you know what I'm my strategy is and what I'm doing. So 44 is going on here. And I'm, I know the tr transfer is only going to be three people, but hey, what the heck, right? All right, so now we got true love, old true love, and we can take out the 47. And the 47 can go over here. And once this lifeboat goes past, we can tell this ship to get moving. All right, let's go. Get out of here. Or at least get sailing away from the enemy ship. Okay, and now Unity. We can go ahead and tell Unity to get me out so I can get back on my ship. Okay, so now you over here. All right. It's going at seven, six, seven point six, seven point seven. All right, seven point eight. Seven point eight knots. So yeah, I think that'll be good. Okay, and now that we did the transfer and and that all worked out. I think I can just save that over this spot right here. Because I do like to have a save within a battle anyways. Because if you pick the start, you'll get basically before the deploy screen. But you have to do the whole battle over. Where at least I have a save in here. I can come in here and decide if I want to do anything else. But anyways, I think that's all good. Because now we're back to whatever, and you know, I just basically I did this. You saw me do this exchange for just three guys, but whatever. Now let's take a look at. We can see the ship is still coming, and let's see if I tilt the ship this way. Can we get better than seven eight? Nope, seven seven. Seven six. Seven seven. Now look at look at oh the wind just changed. Check it out. The wind just changed. So now she has to go off that way. Yep. Wind changed to southeast. Darn, because you know, my hope is to get her. I don't want true love to get damaged. And don't forget, we can we can finish this at any time. And I got to save here, so therefore, you can see the level of yeah. And she should be repairing. This ship should be repairing. And this ship could repair, but we cannot repair a damaged mass. And that was our nose. Luckily, these two two have theirs, and so these guys will be in perfect position. And it's just it's just a shame that I I did it to this one. And we got unity. So now I just got to figure out uh, where the enemy ship is.
Okay, so he's right there. And where is... Okay, and, uh, uh, yeah, as long as she's going in the opposite direction of this one is all I care about. So now I got to figure out when he makes his approach. Oh yeah, and he might he might come this way and have the advantage like this against us. So yeah, I'm wa I'm wondering what I should do with these ships, you know what I mean? Like Let's go a little bit faster. It's all on what he want what what this guy wants to do and and he's he's going to outclass us like he's going to outclass us no doubt. And this might not be viable but don't forget I can load this to this point and decide to say to heck with it and just load this and finish and not deal with him. Because but you know I might as well try just for the heck of it, right? So, so let me see if I put this ship here. Like, I don't know if this will work. I'm just going to give it a try. You can fast forward to whatever it is you want to see. It's what you can always do in my videos. Just watch what you want to see. But here he comes. And then you have to judge uh, the fact that my three ships do have repair kits. But the game developer nerfed it by making us repair. Th it takes three, three times longer than what it used to. So... So that kind of sucks. And we know Unity. And what is Unity, by the way? A seventh rate snow. Okay. So Fenwick is a seventh rate snow. So, it's, so this is the same type of ship as this one right here. Okay, so as we anticipate, all right, let me see if I can get Vieira. Fenwick. Now he might try to come to get Unity because it's small and only 47 and that might be his plan. Yeah, he's going to he's going to turn this way and try to broadside us. Like cuz look at this this window that we have this way. So, and I don't know if my 170 and my 126 could outright take him. I I'm not 100% certain. But yeah, he he's going to yeah, he's going to broadside us and we haven't even been able to hit him yet.
Yeah, I don't I don't like the way he's already coming at us. Yeah, look at the firepower that he has. Oh yeah, I'm going too fast too. Hold on, sorry. Hey, the wind changed to northeast. This might be an opportunity for us to get over here and, and, and hit him. If we can just get over to here. Now he's he's loading up to broadside us. He's loading up. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. This might be an opportunity. I'm not 100% certain it's going to work, but... We got to get all our ships over here. Now, we're going to take a little hit right here, no doubt. Now, I hope my ships are shooting. Now, I'm wondering if I should be using round ball or canister right now because I don't know if... Yeah, and he's... He's trying to he's trying to maneuver Let me see if I can bring this one over here Yeah, he's wiggling out of this. Thought we had him. Thought we had him. But yeah, he was able to maneuver out. Our rigging is damaged. Okay, now we're going to lose that ship, no doubt. Yeah, we're going to have to redo this. I can already see we're going to have to redo it. He happened to maneuver out. Let's cancel this. Cancel. 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 Cancel.
Yeah, we're probably going to have to do this again. Yeah, we're probably going to have to do this again. Now I can't take anybody out of Unity because then Unity won't have anybody on the ship. So we're probably going to have to do this again. Yeah, look at the beating that we're taking from her guns. I mean, she just made another star from what she did right here. So yeah, this is a useless... I mean, I'm basically just showing you, you know, like I didn't think that this would work. Because she, she definitely moved, or the Milford definitely moved out of position of where I had her. And it just didn't work like so I'm, I'm wondering if I should have had round ball on when we were when we had him at the stern and the the back here or whatever, but I mean, I don't know Yeah, it's not worth it. It's not worth um It is not worth losing any ships, you know what I mean? Because quite frankly, I could have brought a fire ship to take this guy out, but then again um this is a fail yeah and this ship is is moving out of position so it's not going to happen yeah yeah that's not going to happen so you know what i mean it's that 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 is not worth it as you can see right totally not worth it all right so um let's let's try something else Let's try something else. Now Fenwick got really beat up. So I'm thinking if I can take, let's try to take, but then again, Briggs are really no match, but like, I don't know if I should, you know, let me see what the number count will be here on, on garlic. Because we got 170 here. Let's see what this adds up to. Oh, 156. All right, so I think what we're going to do is I'm going to just, this is going to be, this is kind of like, this is kind of like what I'm going to, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to save here again, or maybe I should make another save just for the heck of it, because I'm doing, I'm trying something different. So yeah, let me, let me do that. Let me go N S two. Because this ship's already hurt a little bit, and... And now if these two, and these two ain't going to be, be able to do it either, because, you know, I mean, like, I... I mean, it's the best that I can do, I... I so she's got 77 and 73. And Garlic has... 
96 and 47, which is 47 right here. So, I mean, it's about the same thing. So, And if this fails, then what I can do is just say the heck with it. And if I wanted to, you know, I could... What I could do is just try to get these guys to um, help out too, but I don't know. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Because you can see the firepower of this fifth rate ship. I mean, and, and like I said, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed that um, I can't, like that, that pot failed there. I thought I had him in a good position, but he seemed to go out, you know, like, like I said, don't forget, the way they program the AI to do, the AI somehow has an advantage against us in a way that I can say, for them to get away, they can go against the wind, which, you know what I mean, and they can still sail, like, like, we go against the wind and we're stuck. Like, we're at zero knots. And stuff like that. And the AI will traditionally go against the wind to get away from us. Or maneuver. And stuff. And they seem to have no problem. Yeah, and see, again, uh, we're not going to be able to... Uh, we're not going to be able to outgun this ship. Yeah, I mean, look at the tremendous damage he's doing to us. Yeah, he's just got too much firepower, especially up close, you know what I mean? He just has too much firepower against Briggs. I mean, we, we got Briggs here. And like I said, if we lose any ships, right, like it, it's not worth it. It's totally not worth it. I mean, I could easily bring a fire ship here for when he comes to take him out. Oh, yeah, I'm, I should be going slower. I mean, because like I said, even doing the trouble of this... Let's see if we can hit his rudder. Total misses. South, yep, southeast.
Man, because the wind keeps changing. I mean, we could lose our whole fleet just trying to do this, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do this too many more times. I mean, I'm just letting you know, like, you'll know by the length of this video, at this point, you know, how long the video will be or whatever, you'll know what I, if I just said the heck with this and call it a day, but... Repair. Yeah, it sucks doing it with Briggs, because, man, they can get hurt really fast. Yeah, it's not really worth it, I'll tell you. <laughs> Alright, so, oh, true love retreated, but, you know, that's immaterial at this point, because we knew that would happen. We're just going to see if we can get lucky. It's basically what we're trying to do here. Yeah, we just we just really don't have the navy right now to do this, but you know, I was going to give it I'm just giving it a try as you can see like this video is going to get longer and longer and and I'm probably going to just not um you know, like I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to load the save and then just finish because I've given this two tries. This is my second try at trying to do something to him. And you can see the trouble that I'm having against, you know, a fifth-rate ship. And and you know he's going to bump up to third star. Yeah, and look what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can, he can do that to us and... Like, we can't even get lucky to... You know, to hit a hit a mass or something. 
he's got the advantage like look at this window right here you know And what he's going to do is he's going to bring us right to the border. That's his strategy. Come on. Oi. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think that it's not worth it. I mean, the whole point of this is not, not to sink them because I could have easily brought a fire ship. I didn't have to bring all, all of these ships. I could have made a, made a fire ship for about 6,000, I think. Yeah, I'd like to get closer because long distance ain't really cutting it, but we got to try to get some shots on them. Maybe we can get lucky and hit something or whatever. I don't know. Like, come on, let's do something. I mean, I buy the guns that can shoot long distance, so therefore, if we can just get lucky enough to hit something... Oh, yikes. All right, well, like I said, I don't know how much more I can stick into this year, but we're going to give it a shot, I guess. I'm going to see if we can close in the distance here with these two ships while he's shooting at these.
Yeah, the wind keeps changing, so it's, I mean, it's southeast. We, it's been like that for a little while, but I mean, yeah, I keep thinking we got to be able, we should be shooting at him, you know? And yeah, we're not really, we're not hitting them in the right spots. Fenwick is going backwards. Northeast. Okay, well, let's see. Yeah, see, we're still trying to hit a mass, and we're not—we're not even near it. Let's let's try to hit that red box over there. All right, we're gonna come this way then. Man, I just cannot get these ships close enough to do any real damage to them. <laughs> these little guys here, we just got to try to get them to, at least if they could shoot them a little bit, it might be helpful, you know. I'd like to hit that red box right there. All right. Let's 
Let's see if we can hit the mass. I don't think we can, but we're going to try. All right, both ships volleyed. And it, we didn't hit it. Yeah, he's going to get over here to broadside us. We got to get moving. Yeah, he's got the advantage with the with the arc than what we do. Maybe we can hit a middle one. Let's see. All right, we're going to repair this one. These guys are going to have to try to move up. Yeah, see, he's shooting to try to hit ours, too, so... Yeah, it sucks that we're closer now because he's going to do more damage to us. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm moving too close to him. I mean, I, I, you know, what else was I supposed to do? Like, this is, this is going to be a... This is not what we want, but we're going to give it one shot. Yeah, I mean, like I said, um, I might as well say to heck with it because um, it's not going to be worth it. Like I said, uh, one fire ship, take him out. If that's if I just wanted to kill this, you know, if I wanted to take him out, I, I just might as well just finish the battle when I reload. Because as you can see...
yeah, if, if this doesn't work, you know what I mean, and it's not going to, um, you know what I mean? Yeah, he just jumped the three stars. He just jumped the three stars. So, yeah, it, this is totally not worth it. Oh, I'm going to just give up. This was just to see however this could go, you know, but it's not going to really work. Well, it, it might work, but like I said, yeah, this might this might actually work. I mean, it depends if if Garlic gives up. Oh, well, it worked. I mean, but what was the cost? You have to look at the cost. All right, so I got the ship. All right, so yeah. So now, of course, what I could do is reload and save if I don't want to take all the damage that I took, but we did get it. We captured all three ships. I mean, I, I had my doubts. As you can see, I had my doubts. I had my doubts. So, end result. Well, I guess you could say it's good that I, 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 I gave it the one-all try, right? Is that what you could say to me? That, that I'm lucky that I gave it the one all try because I was going to just give up and stuff. So that the, 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 the key to that was, uh, I think it was garlic. Yeah, garlic right here. The key to this was the garlic ship was about to just give up or go down. So I, I, I said I, to myself, I said, well, we might as well try to board which would stop him because he knows he could get her. And then by me bringing this other brig here and just timing it enough to where I had to put an anchor, I had to like move her a little bit and I had to anchor her in such a way that she could then pull in to, to continue to start the board. And so that's how the, that's how that went. And because of the two and he, and this ship here, the Millsburg or whatever, he, he he turned into three stars. Like he earned his third perk. He earned his third perk, but we took him out. So and we got him as a as a as a ship to go as a trophy and we got maybe some prisoners that if he gave up, whatever. So I mean I okay, so if you look at this, right? I had five hundred and thirteen. I lost two thirty four, so that's half half my fleet just about half my fleet and we have to consider the damage that we just took as that's going to be very expensive enough said all you have to do is this you can finish the battle the moment you capture this ship but i would suggest to capture the first enemy warship and then capture true love that way you know you can get both ships and then you can just end it if you want now, let's see here, the Miltsford, 40-gun ship. The Unity was a 26-gun ship, the same as uh, Fenwick here. And so light, light, uh, medium. Yeah, Garlic, um, unfortunately for her, you know, she took the most damage. And True Love will be okay. So let's go ahead and go to Officers. Hey! That is great. We did not lose an officer in, <laughs> in all this exchange. So that is really good. Because if you lose an officer, that always hurts. Especially if it was a commander. But he became a captain and this sub-lieutenant became a lieutenant. So I can't, compl you know, I can't, I can't complain about that. Like that worked out. Oh, yeah, and on top of that, on top of that, old true love was worth 10,000 in supply. So that's the other benefit of why when you look at the goals, you do not want to destroy the ship. Like, that would be ludicrous. You, you, you want the ship as a trophy, 
on top of that, you're going to get the 10,000. So that is why. So anyways, let's go ahead and call it a day. So yeah, I'm going to accept that because if even if I can't add the, the Mills ship, I can at least sell it for rep. And so when we come out of a battle, the game is already saved as a victory. You can see right here, victory. And we know we can load either of these to go back into the battle, but I don't want to because I got a, I, I captured the ship. So I accomplished I accomplished the, 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 the very hard task. So, so now that we know this is saved at that point anyways, that's going to be only 98 bucks. Oh yeah, look, garlic. Look at that, 1251 and 464. Oh yeah, so the Milford's going to need 25. I only have 12. And even old true love is going to take 20. So yeah. That that's that that puts me in a dilemma. And if I keep the trophies as it is, I'm going to lose 1528 per turn. Yeah. All right. Let me think about it. I got to think about this. Um, all right. So we only got, we got, yeah, because we, we took the extra difficulty. So we got an eight, uh, extra 800 and stuff we got one career point yeah we got one career point so there's so many good things to do but I'm thinking to just, because, you know, I've been doing sea battles, you know what I mean? Like, I can save instant money. Like, that. I'm looking at this as a point of saving something instantly. So, I mean, we could, we could put it in all kinds of places, as you know. So now, either way, I'm going to have to uh, repair my ship. So now it's 93. It's 1178 instead of 12 something. And still 4 something. And we got 31. But don't forget, we got that 10,000 to help us out. And I still had some money remaining. But we only have 12 rep. And as you can see right here, we can put in three ships. And this is, and I think this is a fun, I think this is a fun battle. Because I think they give us an artillery unit, and I have already mentioned this earlier in my other video. And then we can capture the artillery here, and then we can shoot this ship over here. So that's, that's why I like, I like this one. Because cause it doesn't matter if I don't have artillery, they're going to give us an ally artillery for that. But yeah, that's what I think this one is. It's what I, like, I really like this battle. And so we need three ships again. We can have a transport. I can make some units. So... Matter of fact, I mean, I don't know if it will tell us... Yeah, it'll give us six reps, so we'll have 18. And I don't think with land battles we can up our difficulty, so... So 6 and 12 is 18. So 
So the question comes, uh, I can get five for this one. And if I, if I, you know, if I say the heck with old true love, like she's a merchant, so we can put three marine units here. She doesn't carry guns. So if we had her, we could have, we could make three land units. But I can get 10 for her, right? If I sell her, I can get five if I sell that one. And if I were to do this, I could get the Millsford, pay the 400. And now I have this ship. That's the, that's that's the only way that I could do that. Um, because we got Rusty here, we can make two units, and I and they can go up to 185 each of them on this type of ship. So at least I have the Miltsford. And now I don't have any trophies, so it ain't going to cost me 1200 and something for those trophies. And I do have the Mil Miltsford. But I'm, I'm not, I don't think, I don't know, I don't think I'm going to play around with her right now. Because I have to get ready for the next battle. All right, well, let's look at this. Um, Vieira. She's got her next perk. Hey, and, 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 and Garlic. Garlic made three. Ah, but because we're three, they're not going to let us buy, let me see, oh no, they will, okay, I made a mistake, I didn't have that clicked, okay, so I can max her out, it's going to cost me that amount of money, and she's got three perks. So I can drop her down, and we have 110 right here. I can go to Rusty. I've got to get an officer back onto his ship. Oh yeah, and see, I only have two rep. Um, the question would be, uh, I'm going to need four rep to take uh, uh, fuselers, so so I'm, uh, so unfortunately, I'm not going to have fuselers. So we'll just have to. I'm just going to have to accept that. Well, you know, I do have money, so maybe I could buy a little bit better officer. All right, let's go with him. All right, well, we do have 500 of these. 
Oh yeah. Okay, so the way we have to do this is we have to do it that way. Create him. It's going to cost, with veterans, it's going to cost that amount of money. And I've mentioned this before, I don't like these because you take one minus and you get, you get, it's a, it's a two for three where this is a three for three. And so I rather have three for three as opposed to two for one. You know, two two to have two and then have a negative one. So, anyways. Oh yeah, and I forgot to put the officer right here. Okay, need to have that ship active. All right. So we got that unit there. And now let's go back to Fenwick. No, not Fenwick. Uh, was it Garlic? Yeah. And we're going to buy these guys back. And we're going to drop them again. Now, don't forget, to buy the veterans, you know, you're going to spend a lot of money, but I think it's, I think it's worth it. Now I don't think, like like I said, they're close to getting this, but I, I don't think it's gonna stick. But we'll we'll see. It won't stick. Yeah, see, I knew it wouldn't stick. Um, but it's it's close. And I still got those fifteen guys. Okay, so so this is ship number one that's gonna go in the battle. So we'll put Rusty in with two uh, Milita. Unfortunately, like I usually don't like Milita. I usually, I usually buy the. I'm just saying. Normally, I usually have enough to buy it, but I think it's because I I went for that Milford ship. I don't have all the rep that I normally would have. Because I think most of the times I don't go for that Milford ship. We can just end the battle or do whatever. So, but because I got the Milford, it took 25 of my rep, but. You know, next uh, sea battle will have this ship so in it. So for right now, what we're going to do is figure that t two of these ships... Like I don't... Let me see on Fenwick. What does she go up to? Not enough weapons. Well, we're not going to worry about that. Let's go to these right here for now. Oh, yeah. And hey, um, what weapons did I give? Oh, so this unit has these guns with a, with a bayonet. And this unit has the this. So that's 22 melee. And this one's 28. But we don't have enough of these, so that's why I have to do it that way. And, and I always use guns that are available so I don't spend rep to buy guns. So you can look at it that way. So now that we have that out of the way, again, i got to figure out... Like, Garlic is already at three stars. So if we do this again, she can go to 170. Now, I thought one of these ships could go to 180. 
Well, I guess it's 170. Yeah, she can go to 180. All right, so let's do that. Oh, but she's overloaded. Okay, so this ship gets overloaded. That's right. She can only go to... 173. Okay, well, that's better than 170, right? Three more. All right, so this is going to be... Ship number two in the battle. And the reason is because I'm going to want them to get get uh, XP and maybe they can get another perk. I'm not, you know, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I think that's what I'm going to do. And so now this ship and this ship. So Viera, can I, can I get her up to 170? And this is 18 melee. Can we also... No, we can't. We only have 142. We have 157 of these, but... We'll have to go with these. Because I don't want to waste rep. I only have two rep. Alright. And we got none left here, it looks like. And we got 81 prisoners. So we're losing 1356 a turn. We're paying 81 bucks for those captives. And the Miltsford, what could we uh, name this ship? All right, let me see. Who do I want to honor for that ship there? Who do I want to honor? Uh, let's see. Valshala. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but Valsha. Okay. Valshala. If I'm if I'm butchering your name, I am terribly sorry, but that's the way it'd be. Okay. So we have Valshala, Rusty. Fenwick, Garlic, Vieira. And we, and we still have the Vengeance. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do. I don't think there's anything else I really need to mess around with at the moment. So you'll have to tell me what you think. You can see I haven't bought much tech. I've only done two tech. And had I not got the Millsford... I would have at least got this unit here, the Fuselers. And I might have even scrapped the Milita and I would have made two Fuselers. That's what I probably would have done had I not wasted all the rep on the Miltsford. So that's what I can tell you there is. And I only have two rep and as you can see here, 
this is one rep that's one this is two i mean i i technically you know what i mean this this very lim limited that i could do right now so i have to build up some more rep and yeah we can go right here and put in stuff for get rep but you know i had to repair my ship so that's why i put it right there So we're going to go ahead and save because we're ready for the next battle. We're not going to do that right now. All right. Well, anyways, I think that is going to be all that I'm going to do. I have the three ships that we need for the battle. So it's no point in doing anything else at this point. So no matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a great sunny day. If it's your morning, noon or afternoon or whatever, or even in your evening, I hope you're having a great time. Take care of yourself. Always try to be kind to people. You know, spread joy and spread love. God bless to you in your own religion. Keep all religions equal. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos, and the lovely amigas.